Hello everyone, and welcome back to Real Time, where we talk about the movies we like. And the ones we don't. I'm Tyler. And I'm Molly. And today, we are going to be talking about Ernest Scared Stupid. Yes, which is uh, one of my favorite Halloween movies. I try to watch it every year. Now, this is one of the uh, very many, uh, one one of many in the Ernest series. Yes, yes. Ernest is a very interesting character. You know, he started out just uh, doing commercials. I don't know what for, but he was like a character made for a commercial for something. Um, but everyone loved him, so he got his own movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll admit, I um, I never watched m- very many Ernest movies before I started dating you. That doesn't surprise me. You don't really have refined taste when it comes to uh, comedy. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you're the one of us who, who prefers the stupids, so I don't want to hear this out of you, little miss poophead. Well, well, you can trust me. Uh, Ernest is a very... Ernest P. Worrell is a very funny man. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty funny movie. Um... Uh, but uh, you have more experience with this, so I'm going to let you take the reins on this one. Okay, great. Um, well, where should I start? Why don't, you, why, don't, why don't you tell me the cast list first? Okay. This movie, of course, starred Jim Varney, the late Jim Varney, as Ernest P. Worrell. Yeah, um, he's, he's great. He's hilarious. He... Um, does a great job with the character of Ernest. Um, yeah, truly missed. Would have been great to see more Ernest movies. Some of you may know Varney more for his role in the Toy Story series where he played Slinky Dog. Yes, yes, he does do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Toy Story 3, it was actually his understudy who replaced him, which sounds, sounds about right. He sounds exactly like Jim Varney. Yeah, pretty close. It's, uh, yeah, it sounds a lot like him. Also in this cast is the late, great Eartha Kitt as Old Lady Hackmore. Yeah, you know, she does a really great job in this movie. She, like, her and Ernest, um, their characters, well, her and Jim, I should say, instead of Ernest, but their characters are very, uh, are the two most, like, um, I don't really know what to say. They have, like, the biggest personalities, I guess. And she does a really good job acting alongside Jim Varney uh, because her character is really wacky and crazy. And, of course, Eartha Kitt, you know, knocks it out of the park every time. Some of you may know Eartha Kitt better as the voice of Yzma from The Emperor's New Groove. So, another Disney actor here. Or as one of the uh, three different Catwoman actresses from the 60s Batman TV show. And... I don't think she was... No, it wasn't her in Batman the movie, was it? No, I think Julia Newmar was still the Catwoman at the time. I think you're right. Um, yeah, those are our main two actors. Most of this cast is children, really, but they do a good job. Yeah, you know, yeah, for, for child actors, they uh, yeah, do pretty good. Yeah. So, basically, the plot of this movie is... Ernest's ancestor locked away this evil troll who is wanting to turn everyone into wooden statues so that he can raise his army of other trolls to take over the world or something like that. Yeah, and this troll's curse or this troll the like the the chains or whatever that are holding the troll underground can only be broken by um the descendant of this man, which is Ernest. Um, and of course, Ernest is silly enough to actually go and do exactly what um, Eartha Kitt's character told him not to do. So he ends up releasing the troll from his restraints, and the troll starts running amok, causing, di- uh, causing a lot of kids to go missing around Halloween. Yeah, and his one wi- weakness is milk. Mm-hmm. There is a funny part in the movie where um, there, um, there's this book that kind of 
talks about the troll and it says his weakness is M-I and then there's a letter that's rubbed out and then a K. And so Ernest is trying to figure out what it says and he thinks it is Miak, which is made up for this movie. Miak is not a real thing. I had to Google that. Um, but Bulgarian Miak, I think is what he calls it. Yeah. Yeah, it's sadly not real. But that's what he thinks the trolls... Um, weaknesses but you know it, it does end up being milk instead he was close but he thought it was Miak. he he tried but he's very very silly yeah um if you're not familiar with the Ernest character he is um he is quite funny but he he has a dog named rimshot he's a little jack russell um also the character of Ernest is really um creative and good at inventing things like crazy contraptions they of course don't always work out the way he plans them because he's a little silly um but he invents a lot of a lot of different uh yeah just like crazy contraptions think of him more as like a a smarter mr bean if you've never heard of Ernest before yeah i can see that a mr bean type character that yeah it invents stuff like if mr bean was not quite a mad scientist, maybe. If if he was a little bit smarter. Yeah. Um. But yeah, this movie's really great. It's also set in uh, Briarwood, Missouri. I think it was Briarville. Briarville my home state. <laughs> I, yes. I forget that. I forget. I don't know if that's a real town or not. I honestly have never heard of it, so. It could be or it could not be. I think Tyler's going to look it up real quick. Yes, I am. Uh, why don't you uh, stall for time while I'm looking it up? Let's see. Um, so during the climax of the movie, um, the troll does end up um, turning enough kids into statues that the Tr the ancient tree that he was trapped under starts sprouting more trolls so all these trolls are running around they're kicking butt kicking all the adults butts and the kids have to come in to save them with um, water guns that are filled with milk and milk does kill all the trolls except for the big bad troll the main troll the main villain of the story um, so to defeat the troll Ernest has to show it unconditional love so he decides to dance with it um and kiss him for the troll to um get get dead okay so i looked it up there isn't a briarville missouri but there is a briar missouri uh, and the movie wasn't even filmed in missouri it was filmed in nashville yeah i didn't think it was filmed there but uh, i don't know it's a fake town so there are no tax breaks for filming in Missouri. No one ever films here. No. Besides Gone Girl. Besides Gone Girl. We might get around to that, but how often have I said that we're going to get to around to something and have, how many times have I actually done it? I don't know. Someone <laughs> make a super cut of that, please. Yeah, probably. But Gone Girl was filmed in uh, the town that I live in. Close to. The, the area. Yeah. Anyways, uh, so this isn't my favorite Ernest movie, but I've only seen two, so... What what other one have you seen? Ernest Saves Christmas. Oh, yeah. Uh, Ernest Saves Christmas is a good one. Ernest Goes to Camp is good. Ernest Goes to Jail is good. But, you know, I have a soft spot for Halloween, so... What about Ernest Goes to Africa? I have not seen that one. I'm sure that one's... Uh, did not age very well. I'm sure it's very culturally <laughs> sensitive. Um, but anyways, so my favorite Ernest movie is probably either Christmas or the Halloween one, but the camp and the jail one are good as well. Um, I feel like there's another one I've seen before, but I don't quite remember what it is. Something about, like, if he took a trip somewhere. Um, I don't really know. Are you sure you're not thinking about Mr. Bean's holiday? No. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'll have to look up all the Ernest movies. I'll do that now. Why don't you stop for time? All right. So, yeah, like I said, Ernest Scared Stupid is not my favorite Ernest movie. That would have to be the Christmas movie. And I 
it might just be because I really like Santa in that movie. He's a really, really nice guy. Very, uh, he very much fits the idea of San of you what you would think Santa Claus would be, and it's just really nice. And I enjoy watching it every Christmas. The movie's not great, but it's. It's got the right amount of cheese to it, and I love it. Yeah, I think it's Ernest Rides Again is the one I'm thinking of. Anyways, I'm go there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 Ernest movies, if this um, is correct. Um, and I've only seen 1, 2, 3, 4, possibly 5. Um, but... It's, it's they're really funny. They're the ones that I've mentioned are probably the best because they seem to be the most well known. Um, but yeah, I feel like most people would enjoy them if they watch them. All right, let's wrap this up. Who who is your favorite character in this movie? Well, it's Ernest, of course. Um, he is the, he's very funny very creative he has a cute dog um so yeah you know i love all the funny characters the most i'm gonna disagree with you there mine's rib shot he's just a he's just a good boy <laughs> yeah he is a cutie a little dog all right and what was your favorite part it's really hard to choose because there are some good parts in this movie i like the part where okay um like I said, it's hard to choose, but the part that does come to mind is whenever he's fighting the troll on the truck, and Rimshot is driving the truck, and he, Rimshot is the dog, and a real dog, by the way, that they, um, yeah, like a, a real dog, it's not like computer or anything, it is a real dog, um, but they have him driving the truck, and he does, like, really well, and he can, like, back up slowly, and I mean, it's pretty funny, and Ernest is just, uh, fighting the troll on the back of the truck, um, you know, he always says funny one-liners, and yeah, it's just a good part, I think. Yeah, that was my favorite too. It's just there's no way this 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 dog should be driving that well, but he is, and he's just such a good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's yeah, it's really funny. There are some good parts, um, but that one does kind of stick out, I think, for me. Well, that's that'll do it for us, unless you have anything more to say. No, I think I'm good. All right, we'll catch you guys next time then. We'll see you next time.